Over the past hour, we have seen the crowd grow to protest in Pittsburgh following the overturn of Roe v. Wade. Tonight, some clinics in our area say they are working to expand services. WRL's Joe Fisher is live in Pittsburgh, where a protest is underway with more on the changes for some clinics and what they're preparing for. Joe? Deborah, more than 200 people now are circling the old Chatham County Courthouse in opposition of that Roe v. Wade decision that came down on Friday. Today we heard from doctors who reiterated that in North Carolina, abortions are still legal. And because of that, abortion clinics are now bracing for an increase in patients. We are anticipating an increase of patients. With some states now banning abortion, a woman's choice is preparing for an influx of women seeking care at their clinics in Raleigh, Greensboro, and Charlotte. We um, are looking for doctors who may no longer have a job in certain states to apply for to get their licensure in, in North Carolina so that they can provide care here. Amber Gavin says they're staffing up and preparing to expand their hours. We've been looking for part like hotels in the area to partner with us to provide and make sure that folks can um, have lodging. In North Carolina, abortions are legal until viability. Abortion pills can be taken through 11 weeks of pregnancy, but state law requires women seeking the pills to see a doctor in person. In North Carolina, there is a ban on telemedicine uh, for providing um, the abortion pill, although there's a lot of data to suggest that you can safely provide that um, via telemedicine. Some people are rejoicing the Supreme Court's decision. This is the day that pro-life men and women and children have prayed for for over 50 years. But pro-choice advocates worry about the burden on women who will have to travel farther to get an abortion and those women who don't have the means to do so. Any reason for an abortion is valid. And so it's just really crushing to me that folks aren't going to be able to provide to be able to access abortion care. And and back out here live, you're looking at these protesters in front of the Chatham County Courthouse. We've heard from several speakers in the past hour or so reiterating to this crowd the importance of voting. Really, the, it is uncertain the future of abortion protections here in North Carolina. We heard from GOP leaders last week who say they do not plan to take up any new bills or any new restrictions until at least the start of 2023. Much of what they will be able to accomplish in the state legislature, Deborah, will be decided on what happens in November's election. Back to you. Joe Fisher, live in Pittsburgh. Thank you, Joe.